ability to let go of the attempt to control one's internal state. The One of the weird things they found out when they started studying people while they were under the influence of psilocybin was the lack of brain activity. Hmm. Do, you, do you aware of that? Well, like, I know there's more. So the, the receptors for psilocybin are many, but one of the main ones is the serotonin 2C and 2A receptor. And those are in this layer of the cortex, the outer lining of the, of the brain, called layer 5, which is extensively involved in lateral connections. And so it's absolutely true that you see more broad act activation of the brain by any one stimulus. You know, show someone a picture, it's very broad compared to when they're not on these drugs. And when you broaden the amount of activity, I can imagine you reduce the total amount of activity in one in any one area. But my understanding is that these brain states are just so atypical. They're not like anything you see in sleep or dreaming, mm. although they're similar. Right. Um, there was a guy at Harvard for years, Alan Hobson, a genius, a neuroscientist, and he was saying, Dreams are reparative. They help people through trauma. It's part of the trauma release process, blah, blah, blah. And psychedelics basically mimic that. And he may very well be right. He may very but well don't be right. They, but they also mimic uh, normal human neurochemistry, right? Like the most potent ones, like DMT and even psilocybin, is some sort of relationship to DMT, isn't it? Like, like when it's... Um when the body processes it, isn't it something like 4 4 oxy and n dimethyltryptamine Like there's there's some things that are happening while your your body is processing it that mimic what it is actual possible for your brain to produce. That's right. I mean, you have two component parts. One is made by the pineal, and the other is naturally made by neurons, and those have to be brought together. I've I've never done an ayahuasca journey. I, admittedly, I've just haven't done it. Have you done mushrooms? Um, in my youth. You know, back in the old days, back in the old days and not responsibly. Ah, I, I kind of regret times. it because I, <laughs> I mean, I was a, I was a, like a wild punk rock skateboarder kid. I was not this, you know, I yeah. wasn't a university professor. And I, honestly, I regret doing it at a time when my brain was so plastic. I, I wish if I'd done it, I would have done it in like clinical trial and gotten data and that kind of thing. But I'm a nerd. So, but, yeah. but you could always do it again. Sure. Yeah. I think that. Um, have you thought about it? Well, I was part of a, a clinical trial looking at uh, this was originally intended to be three dose of MDMA. Mm -hmm. um, I did the two and then I decided that was enough. This again was part of a, a clinical study. I found it to be incredibly beneficial. I mean, I, I thought I was a nice guy before, but um, it made me, it made me not afraid to feel feelings. And I mm -hmm. think before that I could feel from the neck up and from the waist down, but I had this block and I remember taking MDMA. There's a physician there, they're talking to you. And all of a sudden I felt like, now I sound like a crazy person, but this is how it felt since, if, from a sensation perspective, as if like my body had been in saran wrap before and it just kind of unzipped. Mm. And from that point on, I've sort of been able to feel things body wide. And then I started thinking about all sorts of things like, wow, there, I have unusual number of deaths and losses in my life for somebody who wasn't in the military or didn't grow up in the inner city. It just had some bad luck, you know, like, you know, knew people that had bad luck. Um, and all of a sudden I was able to kind of digest that and think about it in a more reasonable way. I think before that I was just pack it away, just work, mm. work, ignore it, yeah. or try and um, sub sublimate it or trend, turn it into anger or fuel, which, you know, it can be its own use, as you know. But at some point I was like, you know, I think I need to actually spend some time on this. And yeah, I think it, I think it made me a nicer person to myself. Yeah, I think there's real benefit in those things, whether it's MDMA or psilocybin. I think there's real benefit in a lot of them. And uh, I think there's definitely benefit in macro, but I think there's benefit in micro too. I know a lot of people that microdose and they just feel el like an elevated mood hmm. all throughout the day. I don't think you're going to get these sort of transformative, life-changing experiences where you transcend whatever it means to be a person and get a chance to look at yourself and look at the way you interface with reality in a different way. But I think what it does do is it alleviates a certain amount of anxiety and tension for people and it allows them to have a more enjoyable experience just in like regular everyday life without being intoxicated. That's right. the key. It's like it doesn't change the way you, you, your motor functions are, doesn't change your visual. Well, it just actually improves your visual which is really weird. Um, I forget who the, the scientist was, but he did a um, study on um, being able to recognize um, whether or not uh, it was like edge detection and being able to recognize uh, the changing in parallel lines. Mm -hmm. And he did it 
see if we can find out who this this scientist was. But he was a very straight laced scientist. He wasn't a whack job. And his jo joke was, it seems like you can detect reality better when you're high than when you're not high. Well, because people that were on psilocybin were able to detect. So if you have two parallel lines and they move one slightly off parallel, the people on psilocybin were able to detect it quicker than the people that were sober. I believe that um, for a number of reasons. Well, first of all, psilocybin at a basic level, when we think of it as like a drug, but it's like, in many ways, it's a lot like the so-called SSRIs, like Prozac, Zoloft, and those things, in that they, they work on serotonin. 